James with the OneHourSmartHome.com and today we are going to go through mounting your Nest to Low in the Nest Wedge and a couple of different options that you have for getting the optimal angle. So with the Nest to Low you have in the box this 15 degree wedge that will allow you to adjust the viewing angle left or right. Um, you just flip it upside down and you could go from left to right, or you could just mount it flat. So flat, 15 degrees, one way or the other. Or what you've got is this aftermarket wedge, okay? And this will actually give you 35 degrees uh, viewing angle change, as well as it comes with this nice back plate. So if you've got a larger hole for your Nest doorbell, uh, with whatever was existing there, you could place this back plate on there and you could do 15 degrees like this, or you could do 15 degrees the other direction, or you could just go flat. So the plate, this plate in itself is useful. We'll put a link to that uh, below, but it also comes with this 35 degree angle mount. And this 35 degree angle mount really does give you a ton of flexibility. Um, the viewing angle is wide enough on the nest that even if you have this mounted let's say on a sidewall over here, you can put this 35 degree viewing angle here and you're gonna be able to see pretty much whatever this wall is mounted on, okay? It's that much of a slant and the viewing angle is large enough on the nest that you're not gonna miss anything if you've got this perpendicular to where your entry door is. Or if you wanna go the other direction, you would just flip this over um, actually it comes with, uh, you would just flip this over and you could view the other direction. So you've got a couple different options here. We'll, we'll line them up in order angle. Flat with no plate, just the standard nest below. Flat with the plate to cover up a larger hole. You've got 15 degrees and you could do that with a nest or you could put that on the nest plate, the third party plate. We're gonna put a link to that below. Um, or you could go with this 35 degree viewing wedge. So if you have this wedge, and I don't know the exact cost, but I think it's like under 20 bucks, um, you are gonna be able to mount this in a variety of circumstances, get whatever viewing angle you want. I have not found a situation yet where this viewing angle wedge, this Nest Hello wedge was not sufficient to get the right angle. With 35 degrees, it's a lot more than you might expect it is. Um, you don't really need 90 degree wedges with this thing because the viewing angle is so large on the Nest Hello that anything more is just overkill. You'll be looking at a wall if you have it turned anymore. So 35 degrees is really the ideal if you are trying to get something on a corner or another wall. So please like this video, subscribe, check us out at onehoursmarthome.com and thank you for watching. We will see you next time.